Hey, what's up, hello everyone? It's Griffin Puff, and welcome back to Her Lullaby. Now, I was contacted on one of the videos that I did on the series, Polly S, um, about that there was more to the game than what I did. So we're gonna see the event gallery. So welcoming and so there are other things in the game. So we're gonna go back into the if I see it so welcoming and so we're gonna just start a new game and we're gonna make some different decisions and see what that gets us. Hey a knife. Okay, we'll look at the knife. Really? Okay, so we're gonna assess the surrounding area. So I'll cut off in examining the lethal instrument. Didn't assess. Terrible lighting. Okay, yeah. So, oh, would you stop it? What? Have you already gone completely in it? Oh, yeah. So, dot, dot, silence. There was only silence for a while. It felt like an eternity, but it was only a few brief seconds. She made more grotesque and disgusting noises, but there was no way anyone would understand her feelings as human speech any longer. Her groans, gulping and gurgling, echoed throughout the room as she looked up at me with a pained expression that somehow seemed self-satisfied. Was she grinning? Tried to laugh it. through the pain. I didn't understand. I looked down and checked my mark, and sure enough, I'd done as I intended. The knife lunged. At her was plunged deep in her gut, the blood of the warm gushing was an affirmation. Sat against the wall, guess for air, seemed to be gasping into onto some dim hope that she might somehow survive this. She was almost laughing in my face as the lifeblood drained from her pierced stomach. But I hadn't even noticed. She, I right quickly began to understand her right arm was fully extended as she if she'd thrown it out there and then stick on my back and the moment I plunged her, my gaze continued with a first sleeve. And it was when I felt the pain in my chest was unbelievable. I tried to scream, and after all that scared me, was a groan of agony, and some blood that spattered her Loco's grimacing face. Despite her fatal rooms, she mercilessly pushed the knife into me with all her might. I spitefully turned, returned the favor in kind, pushing on my plate further into her stomach and pulling upward as best I could. I wanted to fucking split her open, and she seemed to feel the same way. Neither had the energy for this any longer, but that didn't stop us for some reason. What kind of sick fucking contest was this? Eventually, her grip loosened, and her hand fell limply, limply on her to her side, and the blade she impaled in my chest with a pinch of plunge to the left center area of my chest. I fell to my knees in front of her, my hands deeply finding their way to her knife. I wanted to scream, I wanted to breathe, I wanted to do anything, but each step was met with agonizing of pain, more bleeding out. Her breathing hastened as she slumped down into a wall. Her eyes grew distant as our blood oozed onto the floor around us. It'd all be over soon. There, she, she was, my last drops of energy drained out of me as I fell forward on Choco, still struggling to cling to the life body. The fabric of her was somehow comforting as I leaned over my face to it, knowing that it was the last earthly thing I'd ever enjoyed. I don't even think I was breathing anymore, not that I'd want to get, given how painful everything was at the time. I turned my head to look at Choco's face once more. She was clearly too far gone to be aware of anything, so why did I still want her to suffer? Who were you to me? Who? Was I to you? Why? Did I ha feel I had to? Did you feel the same way? But really, boo. Fucking cares. My eyes saw the thing, but the dancing waves of static. My ears that were only months ago filled with despair over violence. And now I only heard the finality and dark sounds of my coming death until. Eeyore. Cough, cough. Louise Gurgle. What? 
So cough, cough, so cough. How is she still going? Every cough or new guts of blood from her mouth. I still she swore there's something where she's had to say, it's glad, so glad, glad you're. What could either of us possibly have to be glad about your cough dead? Okay, so I got the dead end. <laughs> ah, sorry. Okay, so there are other endings that I can find in this game. So I can see here. What, so we got the dead end, so this one's still a mystery, that one's still a mystery. Okay, so I'm going to leave this episode here. If you liked it, click the thumbs up button. Go ahead and go check out Polly. I'll go leave a link to her channel. Because she was one of the creators of the game and she told me there was more. So I'm big thank you to Polly um, for telling me that there was more. So I could get back into this. And I will play more of this to find the other endings. So don't forget to click down below in the comments if you've played this game or if you know any other endings that or how to get the other endings. That'd be great so we can figure out and fill this whole this whole thing up. And with that, I will see you next time. Don't forget to share this video with a friend. Bye.